Welcome back to Good Moms, Bad Choices. I'm Erica. And I'm Neela. And we're in New York. Bitches! You know we thrive in New York. <laughs> I'm in New York. Yes. Except, you know what, the guys, it's a little different this time because a bitch brought her kid. So I can't really thrive in the way that I typically would thrive. <laughs> Also, I think I might have an ear infection because God <laughs> likes to just throw a, a curveball in my New York experiences constantly. But, you know, I feel like, yeah, there's always someone if it's winter. We're such California bitches. There's someone has to be like 50 percent sick every time we come. Every time um, I am thriving because I did not bring my child, um, but I, I have grown a lot. There have been many times I come to New York and I feel like I need to like slut out because <laughs> I'm free and I'm on vacation but no it's winter time and I'm feeling rather chill it, well, it's only day one okay well I'll get back to you next and you're week. also with your boyfriend so well he's kind of wild so you no. know I, my porn boyfriend doesn't really count as a as a grounder <laughs> a grounder <laughs> he's not gonna ground me he's gonna be like let's go <laughs> um how are you feeling I feel good I minus feel your massive like uh your, look, you guys I just want you to know like She's not going to admit to this, but Erica is slightly kind of 2% hypochondriac. She's like, I'm sick. I think I have COVID. I'm sick. Her friend's line collapsed unexpectedly. And she's like, I think mine's too. I'm like, no, bitch. It doesn't work that way. It's not um, contagious. First of all, I'm not <laughs> slightly hypochondriac. Do, I, do we need to show an example of what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, 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 no. Please. Does that please. sound normal? No, I'm sorry, y'all. Please don't Does do that. that <laughs> You do realize this is an audio experience. Yeah, I do. But shut I want the, the people to know up. that I Please am shut not the fuck tripping. Up. You Can we edit think that I'm out? No, we're not editing it out because I want the people to know <laughs> that Jamila to... is making me sound like I'm crazy, but I'm not. I am struggling, but I'm good. Don't worry. I don't have COVID. Okay. This, our guests are looking at us we're like, like bitch. Okay, can we say anything? No, no, no. no, no, no. We're, we're good. No, I no, am no. it. Wait, we just, we just got off the Uber and then he, her and her kid are like, <laughs> I'm like, stop. No, I'm fucking fine. hacking. I've been on in for 25 Uber. days. I just don't know. I think that maybe like my lungs are collapsing. <laughs> told you um anyway erica's lungs are not collapsing it's, it's fine i feel great <laughs> i me, do me too i do feel great i'm feeling i'm feeling good and i'm feeling even better because today we're joined by two very special guests um we're joined by antoinette and shanti mm -hmm. from around the way curls thank you for having us thank you Hi. for coming yes. <laughs> I'm especially excited because my girls are from Philly. You know, uh, I'm from L.A. by way of Philly. Both my parents are from Philly, so I'm very we'll, happy. We'll accept that. We'll take you, you in. You should, because, yeah. bitches, I've been coming every summer since I'm a child. <laughs> we must you, accept you her. You were like, She's I gotta get out of down here. the door regardless. <laughs> All of my Philly cousins accept me, and if I say I'm from L.A., they're like, you're from Philly, so I think you should accept me. And um, I'm excited. All of our people kept telling us to, to hit you guys up. Someone was like, you guys gotta remind me of them. Like, they're looks kind of look like your looks and i'm like let me see these bitches yeah actually <laughs> someone sent us a video and they were like i almost thought this was y'all for a minute uh, no, what just, are we just, talking about i don't know ciao you know Tricky. bitches see a light skin and like i know you're a little you you two are a little i think more trendy than at least me she's trendy she's cool i i give you, you i can know. see the comparison i can see though. it though. yeah when, when i got to the compliment when they said it i got up there i was like okay i said they're cute the same right now I, I said you were giving me me energy. Yeah, yeah. we're all actually we're all. Three you were dressed. like, no, I almost, I almost wore a right see-through <laughs> turtleneck today, and wow. I was like, I'm good thing I didn't because we look like twins. <laughs> she she came ready because this is not her. You like she was. This is uh, her you, giving you all the titties out something. for us. She yeah. brought her breasts for y'all. So and they growing. Thank and you. Growing. And they growing. Is My breasts are growing. And, and, I feel like I'm 35 and they're growing. I have little bursts of like. No, they're not. But. <laughs> no, there'll be some periods you're like, okay, you, yeah. give, it, you give it what you give this period. <laughs> Anytime do, she's sad, I'm like, you're you bigger. Like, oh. she's like, are they? I'm like, yeah, they really do. Tell a petite bitch anything looks bigger when she's sad <laughs> and she's going to be like, I love you. <laughs> I'm like, I look thick. What'd you say? I, I gained like five a pounds. woman? Yes. <laughs> I'm like, is that what you need? I'm going to do that all the time then. Yeah, don't tell me See, I'm mean. Cheat codes. Tell me that I'm thick. Well, then don't be mean. I'm, I wasn't being <laughs> mean. So, you know what's so weird? You're, such, you're like a Scorpio, like such a fight. Scorpio, Scorpio and like nothing bothers you and then sometimes I'll say like one thing you're like you're being so mean I'm like wow this bitch is being sensitive today <laughs> We're, Scorpios are sensitive beings I know I forget yeah. that you're sensitive because I'm sensitive but you're a little bit tougher than me we have very similar traits I guess because Scorpios have a harder outer shell too right 
Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Right? I think so. Yeah, kind of like crustaceans. It's giving or? that. What's your cancer? <laughs> I'm, yeah, a cancer. Oh, okay. I'm a Gemini You're Cancer cusp. Whoa, whoa. Crazy. Yeah. There's a lot going on and over that's there. A, that's the cusp of magic, just in case you guys the were wondering. Cusp of crazy. K- bitch, magic. <laughs> I want to say the, the, the Googles and the astrology say the cusp of magic, not the cusp of crazy. Okay. So watch yourself. Magic is crazy a little bit. Okay, well, that's true. <laughs> Divine <laughs> feminine energy. Yes. I feel it. I accept that. I receive that. But also with a side of crazy. Well, I'm working on it. <laughs> every day. Every day I'm, I'm working to conquer my crazy. <laughs> what are you, what's your signs? Libra. Libra. Mm-hmm. I'm a Sag. Sag. My daughter's a Sag Savage and my, Sag. my moon is a Libra. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Welcome. <laughs> Pretty things. Do you guys are you guys into the astrologies or she is I am. more than I, love I am. It. So I want to know like your whole chart. Uh, I'm a double Scorpio oh, okay. with a Sag Moon. Oh, mm. interessante. <laughs> What's your... I, I'm I'm a Gemini Cancer cusp and a uh, Sun, and I'm a Leo rising mm. and a Le- Leo and a Libra Moon. Fuck, do y'all know that? Yeah, <laughs> you I know my you, app because you're like, right. I know, know like, yours. Astrology What's mine? She's, Cafe. A Libra, I have a Cancer, a Aries. Oh, well, Libra, Cancer, Aquarius. But Aries makes sense. I don't. I don't believe. I don't that think it, I have the time right. My yeah, raggedy mom was like, it's, it's either Aries. It's definitely not Aquarius. Did you have your, your birth certificate? It's not on there. I have the, the it. time is not on there. The time is Philly. Oh yeah, raggedy. The time is not on They're, there. They got lazy. Like, your mom mind. don't remember. She don't. She says either three fifty three or three thirty five. But she was like, all I know <laughs> I is I was highly ready. impressed that mom would know because I had no like there was a lot going on for me to be looking at the clock and know. That's exactly. what I would think. I I so you, don't, you don't know your daughter's. Well, I do because the birth certificate. Okay. but if you asked me, it would have been like might have been at seven o'clock at night. But my daughter was born in the morning, so I mean, I don't know. I kind of remember. Yeah, I remember. No, I don't. You know my memory's fucked up. It is. It's she a lot of weed. We smoke a lot of weed over here. Do you guys I think I started weed? smoking weed too early. I think that's the problem. Probably. She smokes fake. I wish I could smoke weed. Oh, I think weed. I saw that one of your episodes. I really like, CBD wish I could. I started smoking weed at like 13. Candy cigarettes. Like eighth grade, smoking heavy. And then it just made me paranoid and insecure and it just brings out the it, worst in you. it brings out the worst have in you me. tried I as want an adult? to do it i do it for medicinal pur- purposes i do it to like check in with myself feel myself out but i can't do it around people it's not recreational because i will be yeah. like i gotta go i will i will leave i will get up and walk <laughs> out i can't handle it no it, 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 i think it takes practice it takes a lot of yeah. work to yeah. like kind of conquer I guess so. the inner thoughts because I've, I've, I've been there i've well, been there what weed you're smoking what weed? and what state that, and what have... state you're in yeah I guess. But you might already be like hoping for the worst before you smoke. That's what I think. I That's think it. you I prepare get, I yourself. Yeah, like, I know. It's just going to go back. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, but I want to practice. Somebody just needs to like give you an edible on the low. And you need to come know. to LA. No, I like smoking. I, see, I, I don't like smoke. the act of, act of uh, smoking. I don't like smoking. I don't like smoking. Smoke. 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 But I'm an edible girl. I'm oh, opposite. Okay. I'm like, let me get an edible and I'm just so happy. I, I There are so many nights when I'm in the house, like during COVID, pop an edible, put Afro beats on. It's like two o'clock in the morning. I'm dancing around having a grand time mm. and i just want her i I'm just would try. love to do I'm that get, maybe she's go to her drinks. house and do it like do it like that just by edible myself. in the house it needs to be by no myself. she's just fucking she's fucking sad you saw she just excluded no. me out of that <laughs> just one friend you know like, her i'm alone by no, myself i'm gonna practice by myself <laughs> and then you know you're not performing get open get vulnerable with me I think I need to work with myself. It's the inner work first that I have to do. You we're, know, we're like some like get. I, you might be me, bitch, because I'm like get vulnerable with me. Take off your shoes. Take off your shirt. Your titties are blocked up. Well, so I had the worst high ever at Afropunk once, oh and God. I had never really been high before. And so I was with Jade, Jade of all Jades. And so she was yelling at me like, "Bitch, don't drink that anymore." And it was some kind of. Infused tequila. Infused margarita tequila like thing. Like tequila? Feel, mm-hmm. Yes. That's I don't lot. feel anything. Drinking them down. She's like, yo, you don't, you're not even supposed to drink a whole one of that. When I tell you I was stuck. Oh, no. <laughs> she, oh, and no. she, she hold, held my hand. She did sit me up against a trash can. I kind of hold that against oh, her. Oh, that's so nice of you. She's but, a relationship. She's like, she was like, you need back support. And she was just like, so tell me how you're feeling. <laughs> What and I said I everything I don't have any control time what is time and she's like I do really and you were like and how does it feel to not have control <laughs> I, she, not, did that she was counseling was this a therapy? I, 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 I,
she, she was took, like, I'm finally gonna be able to get no, in there. No, she was getting, she was getting done, me through. She was like, look at the look at the clock. Every time you feel out of control, just ground yourself oh. with the time and see how much time has passed, and know that you're right here. Feel the ground <laughs> under you. Oh my you. god, you might be me too. Wow. Like, girl, this is what? Some, these are great tips. I feel like. Are you a woman? Yeah, we do. Like, 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 we we the should can be the doula. Do mushrooms then? I would absolutely do mushrooms. We should with do. You. Have you guys done mushrooms of together? Course. I've, I've done never done yeah, mushrooms. Yeah, we should do mushrooms together. We I are, feel the way that you've done mushrooms. Mind. How are you willing to do mushrooms but not weed? <laughs> Thank you. It didn't bring up the same. It just didn't bring up the same things for me. It, I mean, it brought up the same feelings in some way, but it, there's no control. You're just like, you know how you go on your waves. You're just like, oh yeah. my God, here we go. <laughs> yeah. And that, you know, with weed, I could feel still, I'm trying to control things, whereas mushrooms is just like... Wait, you have or you haven't done mushrooms? I have. Oh, I've you have? I haven't. Okay. Well, yeah. But she did them with someone else, with her other friend. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's not I don't know. it. <laughs> um, no. Well, I'm so happy we're talking about... Um, Drugs. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, um, mom. Is that not, a drug episode? No, no, no. <laughs> not drugs, but like healing drugs, like yeah. herbal plant medicine. Plant medicine. Um, Eric and I are big advocates for plant medicine. The ones that work for you, obviously. Um, this month, this is our April Weed and Wellness Month. Um, Dope. And we wanted to talk about wellness and. Obviously, mushrooms and weed are wellness. Mm -hmm. I, I would agree. agree. I mean, not for some, for for some, and yes, for some, some not. No. Well, you have to know what your what your wellness of choice is. Um, but we asked you guys before you came if you had an affirmation. Do you guys have an affirmation for our listeners? Do you have one? I have. One. I do. You can both share <laughs> I one. Do. Both of y'all share one. Okay. I wanna. I wanna. You know what? My affirmation was inspired by the two of you. I went on your website. And I watched some of your clips. So I just want to offer an affirmation for all of the folks. It's Women's Month as well. So I'm just going to shout out women that are building things and doing it together and creating just amazing, amazing work and diving in deep, doing hard things together because the back of the house is completely different from the front of the house and your front of the house is very clean and very like well put together. And I love that you guys do the theme. So this isn't an affirmation, but it's just like, <laughs> it really was. I was like yeah, it's I not an affirmation, but I just want to shout out to all of the, the women that are creating things to keep going and to do it together because by golly, greatness comes from it. And Shout out to y'all. I'm Thank proud you. of y'all. It's an inspiration. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate I don't know about that. the back of the house is a fucking mess, okay? <laughs> Listen, I know. Oh, oh, no, I said clean. What I said was the front of the house is clean. The front of the house is clean. The back of the house is yeah, clean. We know that the black back of the house is I just spilled coffee all over this floor. Y'all would never <laughs> know. It's a shit show. But shout out to never. I would have never known. Nobody would ever know. So shout out to just building things and, and moving forward. One step in front of the other. Cause Thank you. I received that. People Thank see you so that. Much. Yeah. Thank you. Something that I've been saying to myself and I offer it to other people is that, um, especially with these crazy times, I will either look in the mirror or when I wake up, I just say, you are exactly where you are supposed to be. What is meant for you will find you and may you be ready when it comes. Ashe. You're, you're exactly, exactly where, where you're, you're supposed, supposed to be. be. What, what is, is meant, meant for you will, will find you. you and you're exactly... Wait, what? And may you be ready when it and comes. And may you be ready when it comes. Hey. I know that's the fuck, right? May you be ready when the fuck it comes. Yeah. Okay, preparation. And if that, you that's how you present itself. Just embrace the pro the process. That's how I really because I I'm somebody who I always want to jump to. I I want to be like, I just I just want to jump to whatever conclusion it is or whatever goal it is, and I hate the in-between because I feel like I'm struggling or I feel like I'm not there yet. And it just like, yo, chill the fuck out, relax and embrace, embrace where you're at. You're where you're supposed to be and have more faith in that. So I've been, I've been struggling with that too. Just like being in a really good place and still my body wanting to feel anxious. Yes. And I'm like, bitch, you're happy. <laughs> Actually, this is less problems than you had in a long time. Mm -hmm. And I'm like constantly like huh, like making it. My body wants to make a big deal out of the things that are not big deals and mm -hmm. just like kind of being present and being grateful and in like constant gratitude, even in the journey and in between, because mm -hmm. I don't want to get there and be like, bitch, you missed all the good part, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, I totally receive that. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I agree. I think that the in between is what makes the the what the arrival even better. A lot of times when you skip the in between, the arrival feels so unfulfilling, and then mm-hmm. that's why people are always like they get there and then they're like, "This oh. will feel like how." What's I thought the next gonna- thing? Because well, there's, there's always yeah. going to be thing. shit. Even when you get there, and yeah, and you're always gonna be wanting for the the mm-hmm. next thing, and it's mm-hmm. just like this is good, mm-hmm. this is actually a good thing. It's that's take- really powerful to sit there and say like this is good, and to recognize within yourself when you're like, if I romanticize the struggle, you know, like right, I, I realize in myself that because I like to troubleshoot. I look for things to troubleshoot Mm. and it's like, but what if everything is all right Mm. and can you exist in that? Mm. And how does that feel? Are you uncomfortable in like stillness and calm and ease? And Mm. as you know, women as black women, that's very tricky because usually you're like, okay, I got to do all this. I can't even fucking do it. But it's Mm -hmm. like, that's what you're conditioned to do. And then when there is ease, it's like it's it's almost it's feel? almost eerie. Like what's is something about to pop up yeah. and scare me? Something about to pop up and take my joy. And you're bracing yourself. You're bracing yourself and you're like looking for something to actually like make just justify the feelings that you have, even when there's nothing. Yeah. I, I, we just came back from Costa Rica and we like Oh, up, your retreat looked amazing. We had like two retreats. It was super beautiful and peaceful. We're in a beautiful tropic place. And obviously there was things to get done. And I I had this thought, we're like you know, like I have these big dreams to like make millions of dollars and then go off the grid and live happily ever after in my rich island mansion. <laughs> and, and I saw, I saw, like I was, we were driving by a, like a house and I saw people in the pool and I, I had this brief thought and I was like, what if I do all these things and I get the house and I find, I, I import a husband to the tropics and we like are sitting <laughs> naked in the pool, all the things I wish for. And then like, and then I'm bored. Mm. <laughs> I'm like, what if I'm bored with this nigga? <laughs> what if I'm bored just living in the tropics in my mansion? And I was like, what a sick fucking <laughs> I'm like, bitch, are you crazy? I'm like, a little. <laughs> but it really had to, it made me think about like the, the, the chase, you know, like all the things that we do to get there. And then it's like, is it enough? And mm-hmm. I think a part of getting there and feeling fulfilled is being fulfilled right now, mm-hmm. you know, so that when I get there, I can like really understand. Relax. Yeah. Relax, yeah. yeah. Anyway, that was my word for the day. <laughs> <laughs> um, I pulled a, a tarot card from our mahogany tarot and it was justice. Actually, I didn't pull. Um, who pulled it? I Shanti. Did. Shanti pulled it. So let me know if this applies to you. I'm not like, a, I'm super tarot reader. <clears throat> I just, I read from Biddy Tarot. <laughs> Um, and actually, I don't really. I think that this card means justice. Card is a woman sitting on a, a throne. She has a like a Libra weight scale, and on the other hand, I don't know what the fuck this is, but it looks like there's balance. She's wearing red, so maybe that means royalty. I don't know. Just making <laughs> shit up. <laughs> I'm going for my intuition. Um, The justice card represents justice, fairness, truth, and the law. You're being called to account for your actions and will be judged accordingly. If you have acted in alignment with your higher self and for the greater good of others, you have nothing to worry about. However, if you haven't, you will be called out and made to own up to your actions. If this is if this has you shaking in your boots, <laughs> know that the justice card isn't as black and white as you may think. A level of compassion and understanding accompany justice. And although you may have done something you regret, this card suggests that you'll be treated fairly and without bias. Be ready to take responsibility for your actions and stand accountable for the ensuing consequences. Hmm. Mm. Um, wow, this is very interesting because unbeknownst to you all we had a discussion about what we're going to talk about today and one of my favorite parts about doing podcasts is like we get to sit down with women that we literally haven't talked to ever mm-hmm. and they would be like let's get deep bitches <laughs> yeah let's peel <laughs> let's it talk back about your shadow work <laughs> um, and we were just talking this month is because it's wellness we we're talking about um i think it's hard to work on wellness without being honest about what your toxic traits are mm. <laughs> <laughs> i know right Hello, welcome. <laughs> welcome to the show. And we just want to talk about like our toxic traits, maybe in relationships, maybe specifically in friendships, relationships, just in general, really. But um, I think this card, wow, just really calling us out today. It, it is. It's really like, oh, you want to get deep? Let's get deep, bitches. <laughs> so, Erica. <laughs> what, me go first? Yeah. Oh, shit. What, do I, what are my toxic traits? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Me, wow, okay. Um, well, uh, I would say mm, my toxic traits in r- relationships, I would say in like love, 
<sighs> I've been told. <laughs> and I've been told and I've only recently, I think, acknowledged that I um, often... I'm I'm always kind of waiting for a man to disappoint me. Like I'm always kind of like, and the way that I do it is I kind of like make him feel like he can't live up to whatever it is that I want him to live up to. Um, I think that I've been single for almost five years now. Hello, hi, me energy. Yeah, and, somewhere between yeah. <laughs> male count <laughs> practice. <laughs> um. And I've really like over the last month, I've really tr- had to really think about, OK, why are you why have you been single this long? Mm-hmm. Like besides the fact that like it's a choice, right? It has been a choice, honestly. But like I'm a bad bitch. I mean, I'm smart. I have my shit together. Mostly I I'm fine. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think I have a lot of value outside of whatever I look like. But I find that. <sighs> I feel like the men that I've dated have all kind of in their own way told me like you make me feel like I'm less than Mm. like and so I'm like is that my toxic trait (laughs) I mean probably yeah sounds like it Um, (laughs) and they're not wrong they're not wrong I think it's because I think it's because I have high expectations and I I, and like I don't want to settle I don't want to just you know um, it's really I, 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 I just can't settle and so because of that in, I've made men feel like they can't rise to the occasion and I've I've kind of like I've I've made them feel bad about it instead of just being like you're not my person and that's okay it's more been like you're not you're not rising to the occasion why aren't you my person mm-hmm. so I feel like I don't know what the right word is uh, what the toxic trait per se would be what would you call that um maybe like uh presumptuous like you're presumptuous in, in like you're dating that you assume that they're going to be disappointing rather than just letting I'm judgmental them be. maybe critical critical I guess I'm highly critical well actually you're my, my friend so every time you tell me this I'm like mm, fuck those niggas yeah, <laughs> I'm right? like, you're, you're perfect <laughs> you don't think that I'm you don't think I'm highly critical I think it's appropriate when you're critical I think that you're right <laughs> I love it I think see, that you her, should... see her co-signing my toxicness is why I can't change my, <laughs> my sister's a Scorpio I don't know it may not have anything to do with that but that is her biggest thing is that she will nitpick and she's very 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 critical and breaks the person down and can't necessarily take it I don't know how you do you take people being critical towards you? like she can't critical handle I don't think any water sign can take it like they can dish it because I certainly can I find that most people I think people <laughs> a lot of people don't tell me about myself mm. I'd be trying to tell my friends can you please tell me about myself mm-hmm. I, I'm like you're perfect <laughs> Because I, I don't really have a problem telling other people about themselves. Um, so I don't really feel like I get the opportunity. The only time mm-hmm. I get it is from my mom. And that of course, I'm not good at that. Yeah, you're right. Because when my mom tries to come for me, it's always like, mm, no. Mm-hmm. Um, so that could be that could be right. So I think that that probably is my my toxic trait. I'm really I'm also really I can easily be done. Mm. Like I can easily be just like okay and we're done scene yeah like, we don't need to talk anymore there like i can cut you off yeah. real real quick i'm really i'm almost too good at it and it's hard for me to understand people that aren't good at it mm-hmm. so the like because jamila's such a lover and she and she she'll she's she'll extend things past the point where i i don't it's, it doesn't i don't understand it but i don't necessarily think that's a bad quality i think that sometimes it's a bad quality of mine where i'm like damn i could have been more kind probably so i don't know Meanwhile, my toxic trait is holding on way too long, being way too kind. <laughs> what do you? What about you guys? <laughs> I I can dig that. I think I definitely hold on. Um, I don't let shit die. It needs to die. And I, I know that I, I can look at her face. Um, I think my toxic trait though is um, moving from a place of fear, and that's in general. I think that. In relationships, romantic relationships specifically, I can be codependent in the sense of I will flood you with so much love and care and consideration that it is um, almost too much to deal with. It's like, okay, you got to fucking relax. And I'm doing that because I'm afraid Mm -hmm. that this person will leave me or this person. I'm not enough for this person. I have done that. I've been single for going on six years and she knows how many codependency books I have in my house where I've really tried to work through that of like, 
okay, what is that about? Like what the undertone, the under the thing that's, you know, underlying underlying there is the fact that I don't feel like I deserve to to be loved. Mm. And so I don't feel that now, but I think that n- when I meet people who I'm excited about, I do get nervous and I, cause I never want to be back there. So then I kind of, I, if I see myself going all in, I'll dumb it down. I'm like, Oh, they don't like me. Oh, it's not that deep. Oh. And I try to just like convince myself, you got to fucking relax. So it's, it's toxic. It's loving, but it's, it's like it's love not loving bombing. to you. Mm-hmm. Not, yeah. yeah. And it's not, it's, it's doesn't serve me. I have, I have similar toxic traits. I feel like, um, even in friendships, like, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm very introspective where I'm always thinking about my thoughts mm-hmm. and the why, like, and it's healthy and it's not like it's, but I'm, I, I do like, like. Sometimes I'm overthinking. I'm literally making things up in my head. Like, are they talking about me when I leave? <laughs> like, no, bitch. No one's thinking about you when you leave. You know? Or, like, even with friends or, like, just overthinking shit. Or, like, even in relationships, the same. Like, I have probably the fear of abandonment where, like, I might really like someone and, like, become attached and, like, bomb mm-hmm. them and, like, want to connect. And then also be, like, if I see them, if I feel like they've withdrawn in any way, then I'm, like, oh, I don't fuck, I don't fuck with them like that. Like, I don't really care like that. You know what I mean? Even though knowing that I care, but the yeah. fear of them like leaving. So mm-hmm. I do, I do, I, I care, I nurture because I would prefer not to have the rejection mm-hmm. and not to like, yeah. I would, you know, even if like, even if I think about it deeply, do I really want this person to stay? Like, are we really compatible? Is that this, part. Is this mm-hmm. really what I want in mm-hmm. 20 years? Mm-hmm. That part. Mm, probably not. Like, that, this is not really what I see long term. But, like, I'd rather feel wanted and kept and chosen than to be honest with myself about if this is the person I want to be wanted and kept and chosen from. Yeah. <laughs> And then like and and attaching myself into that in that way versus in a genuine, realistic, like mature way. And so like I, I can identify with those same thoughts. And like f- I found that like it has to do with childhood. Always. Mm-hmm. I, it, Absolutely. In my experience, it's always something when you're five, like when you're when you're a child, the little things that make you feel rejected or not chosen yeah. or mm-hmm. or like when, maybe parents were negligent. And even in that, like thinking like, well, I wasn't like homeless or hungry like you had a good life and my therapist is like you can't rationalize your feelings Mm -hmm. just because you weren't homeless or hungry bitch doesn't mean that you don't have trauma with certain like relationships and that like as a child things oh my god my fucking valley likes are so annoying but like (laughs) (laughs) the fact that she um... just tore yourself up (laughs) You know what I mean? What's the East Coast version of like? Um, um, um bet. <laughs> I guess, but um, anyway, let's yeah. ahead. But yes, I I I feel the same way. Yeah, I think my toxic trait is um the opposite. I can disassociate <laughs> very easily, so I, I, I lean more <laughs> like you, Erica. Where like, and it has to do with not being comfortable being vulnerable. Mm-hmm. It takes me a very long time to get close to somebody and open up to somebody men and women like romantic yeah, and non-romantic friendship wise too it takes me a while and i you can you know take it all back to childhood but i think i can easily and i have gemini is my moon and then aquarius is my rising so i'm i can be very airy and very detached and ambivalent and people are like how do you feel about me like it's i'm i'm I think I could, it takes work for me to be more affectionate and go towards people, um, which is the opposite of what I, I y'all had to court saying. her. <laughs> definitely. But it's something that I definitely want to work on because re- regardless of the ways in which, you know, we are reacting, everybody wants to be loved. Everybody wants to be seen. Everybody wants to be held. And it's not in any way that I don't want or need those things. But my, the way that I protect myself where I feel most comfortable is to like have a distance. I have some of that too. Like I can be very like deep with someone. I'm very easily, you could get super deep with me. Yeah. Anyone can feel like they're my best friend. Like, yeah. oh my God, I love her. We're so close. And I'm like, eh. But like, it's just, yeah, because there is some of that disassociation and that like, I love you, but also you can only be this close to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like as we get older, because I, I feel like we're around the same age, all of us. Um, and this is not for everybody, but like lately we've been posting shit about women, not 
having women friends and like being proud of it. Like I don't fuck with bitches. And it's like, that's, that's scary. That's very scary. And I've even had people in my personal DMS, like, well, I saw that post you posted and it's like, I try to keep friends, but they, they just be this talking accent. about <laughs> <laughs> Who this is, is this the person? Of, this is the accent of people that don't fuck with bitches. <laughs> <laughs> this is the accent of if you don't fuck with bitches, this is what you sound this like. This is what you sound like. Right here. And I was like, <laughs> the girl in my DMs was like, I always try to keep friends, but they like double cross me and then we don't be friends anymore. And in my head, I was like, bitch, every friend you ever had didn't double cross you. Right. I'm like, maybe there are some things that you have that you're not being honest with mm-hmm. yourself with. Mm-hmm. And like, that's really where I think emotional maturity comes in because well, yeah i think you mirror i think a lot of times you attract what you put out whether or not you're doing the doing the double crossing there's something about you and you, whatever you're doing that is attracting that whether it's allowing people like that into your life and ignoring the red flags or whether you are in fact doing the same thing but in a different way and i think a lot of women are not ready to a- acknowledge that and that's why that post and that conversation was so triggering to women people were literally arguing with us about mm. wi- about us trying to encourage women to be friends with women it was crazy <laughs> i was like y'all are really mad about this like okay but i think it's triggering and i understand it i mean of course women there are a lot of hurt women out there and mm-hmm. like they always say hurt people hurt people yeah. And I mean, and, and that and that goes with women and women, men and women, men and women, men and men, like it, it goes all the way around. So um, sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I don't think that you did. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but to get back to just what you said really quickly, Shanti, about like, you know, you disassociating from people and people like people having to work to be your friend or like you said, you have to court her. I, I relate to that in ways too because I think that I'm a I'm I always say I'm moody or whatever like or I'm a vibe person and mm-hmm. so I get I give what I get and um, I think sometimes though people like misconstrue my energy mm-hmm. that has been like a constant like factor in my life mm-hmm. constantly I mean even like and I'm and I'm insecure about it in mm-hmm. ways because even earlier you said that I'm giving um like hard shell energy and I didn't forget that because for me that's like a sore spot for me mm-hmm. not hard shell you were giving you that you're on top of your shit energy of like I need the time I need this I need that it was like project manager energy <laughs> that's a compliment from her by the way <laughs> I'm a project manager I'm just saying that people like and, and it wasn't like a slight to whatever you said I it's just it's something insecure it's an insecurity okay. of mine because people have always said that to me like oh I can't read Erica or does Erica like me or like what's wrong with Erica like Erica's a bitch or Erica's <laughs> moody and I'm like god damn like and like honestly I've it's become part of like who I am like or how I identify myself and I've only recently been like no this is not who I fucking am Mm. like actually I'm a sweetheart actually like I go above and beyond for my friends actually like I love my friends so much like I'm I'm there for them through whatever they need but I think it's more of people who are not your friends who who are are attempting to identify your energy it's not like your friends being like you know what I mean I think people who know you know you but I think it's that in between stage of people wanting to know you and not maybe feeling the opportunity that you're like hey be my friend whereas mm-hmm. like maybe here I'm like hey what's your name you know like I'm much more like but I think it makes other people uncomfortable people are uncomfortable with the fact that they don't have the in, they don't know it, like the in you're not maybe like just open. I don't give everyone access right and that's not that's not really a you problem as it is I a they problem that. but it's not even that I don't want like it's, it's sometimes it's just like if you want to talk to me then bitch come talk to me <laughs> like why do I have to make the effort like, I think that there's a th- thing uh, there's a power right and Mm -hmm. there's an energy that you can walk into a space with and hold within yourself that can be intimidating for folks and that's not your problem yeah i know and and that's and that's part (laughs) and and i and i i definitely carry that as well where i'm like and that's how i felt like Mm -hmm. well that's your problem but then it's sometimes i'm like well (sighs) it's lonely it's lonely it is i can identify with that because i was often like oh a lot of people would look at me and be like, oh, she's a bitch. She's this, she's that. And I did work to be like, okay, maybe I can be more, I can come into a softer. space. Softer. No, I'm not going to be softer, but maybe just more open. Like you're still going to get this project manager energy. <laughs> you're still going to get this confident woman. Like you're going to get that. I have my convictions. I have all those things. And you're going to feel that when I walk into a space. But you can also feel an openness of like, Okay, I, I I am I'm still approachable, but you if you approach me, understand that you're getting me, mm-hmm. and and 
And some, not everybody is gonna like, not everybody's up for that challenge. And I, and I, I deeply identify with that because it does feel lonely. Cause most times the people who are like that want the most connection. Mm, mm-hmm. And then it's people find it hard to connect, but it's just like, yeah. Cause I've, 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 I feel like I've like, I've tested it too. I've mm-hmm. been like, okay, let me like be real nice here. Let me like try to be real. <laughs> but that's real. inauthentic and then it's weird. it's totally inauthentic. <laughs> but then I've done that and then it's still, I, I still get, I get the same result. Really? So wow. then I'm just like, hmm, okay, well, that, now I know it's not me. Now it's just you, bitch. You just decided who I was before you even met me. Right. right. But which which happens a lot in female interactions too. I think women sometimes, we've been like so pitted, like, pit against each other mm-hmm. that it's almost a defense mechanism to walk into a situation thinking that you know what to expect from someone like oh she's oh she's cute or she's gonna be a bitch oh she's just this or she's salty whatever the fuck crazy thoughts that we have yeah. before meeting people and we've all done it you know as, we all do as, it. as evolved yeah. or as empowered yeah. no, or whatever the fuck yeah. you know situation that we're in we all do that we've all like we naturally, I feel like, make up storylines to make ourselves feel more comfortable. Mm. And th- you have to work out of that, which is really the point of this conversation. It's like, what what are parts of me that I need to work out of, right? Like, I have to be realistic when I make negative thoughts, even about myself, mm-hmm. that are not true mm-hmm. to, to, to snap back. Like, no, nah, bitch, you're making shit up. And it's the same thing. If you if I go into a room with women and I feel like someone's not being receiving of my energy or if I'm being kind and I feel like a bitch is being short or like giving me a half smile, like, okay, maybe I need to like try like try again. Maybe she's going through some shit. Maybe I don't know really what's on I don't know what her experience has been with women. And obviously there's a limit, but I do feel like it's necessary for all of us to constantly, you know, obviously you know if you've tried too hard and you're like, all right, bitch, fuck you. <sighs> Or when it's like, let me just reapproach this and take away those negative thoughts that I've maybe made up in my head and try to reapproach the situation because we don't know everybody and we don't know everybody's fucking resting bitch face or everybody, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And even for me, like I'm a super friendly bitch and I've even heard like, I think she's fake. Like she's too friendly. Like she's too friendly. Mm-hmm. She's too hype. It's always like, something, right? Bitch, if you see me on Monday or Friday, drunk or not, I'm gonna be dancing around the room by my fucking self. Now, if you have a problem with that, that's personal. But even me being as friendly as I am, I've heard people make assumptions about me so it's like it's not it's it's really just accepting that people are going to make assumptions about you and you have to be like either we're gonna smile our way out of them or you're gonna you know keep it moving and it often doesn't have anything to do with you i think that's the most right. important thing it's like i i just have to be aware of my own thoughts and responsible for my own thoughts and the responses that they're bringing up in me and i can't worry about that, that other person tripping or like off centered by my presence or whatever, that's their responsibility. Um, but yeah, it's really interesting. I have, I, I'm sorry, I keep going back to the Scorpio Scorpio, but I have a friend in my <laughs> life. She's like, she, all her plants are in Scorpio and she's this very, she's an enigma to me. And I love the way that she doesn't necessarily come into a room. She's powerful as fuck, but she doesn't come in and be, she's not like a, you know, she, she, to some, she could be too reserved or off-putting or like a, a bitch. But to me, what she does is she makes me realize and see the the energy that I'm bringing to the situation and how I'm trying to perform this 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 thing that people do. Hey, how you doing? What are you doing? How are you? Da, da, da. And it's not like she's not engaged, but she's not doing the performance. She's being herself. Mm. And I love that about her because it makes me step and be like, well, what am I expect? What am I wanting from her? She's being her whole ass self. What am I? What is this dance that I'm trying to do with her? And why don't you stop doing it and just be in presence with her? Because that's what she demands that you do is just be there and be yourself and not do this song and dance that I find is so performative when we don't know somebody or we're just getting to know somebody. She's filling up the silence with yeah, chat. And she's like, just not like, she's not chat. here for it. And she's struggles. not being rude or anything. She's just, and she's powerful, but she's not going to like do this thing. And, and it makes me, I love hanging with her because it, I, I show up differently or I like try something else and it makes me feel more centered in how I want to show up authentically versus like and how you want to feel 
How do you want to feel? Like, how do like, I do, really do I feel, feel like talking yeah. to this bitch right now? Exactly. Not really. Like, it's okay. We don't have to fill up like, the space. Like, I don't no. have to make you feel comfortable. She helps me to feel comfortable in myself rather than looking for her to like calm me down or like make it okay. Reassure so, you that. I think it's, it's, it's a powerful thing to have that naturally because i feel so much more anxiety when i feel like i'm have to be performative yeah. like and i i i sat i have some social anxiety and it usually comes from when i'm like okay like i gotta like be on i don't want her to think i'm a bitch mm-hmm. like let me talk oh god jamila's here and she's gonna talk to everybody so i gotta talk to everybody <laughs> and then sometimes i'm like you know what let me get jamila i'm so glad i have jamila let yeah. that bitch talk to everybody i'm gonna sit right here and i'm gonna be that bitch i just don't feel like talking or i'm just chilling or like, you know, I'm just existing. Right. Why is my existence a problem? But it's definitely something that I've, I'm still even currently working through. So much so that even that comment that you didn't even know bothered yeah, me, I'm bothered sorry. me. No, don't apologize. It's it's my own personal that's thing. And that's, why, and that's why I brought it up. And that's why I brought it up because I, I realized that it still triggers me anyways. Mm. When, and, and it's something that like... I'm I, so I, happy to see it. <laughs> that, <laughs> that I do have to work through. And it's something that people have, ident- have, have made part of my identity. Mm. And even on the podcast, you know, when people meet me, they're like, oh my God, you're so much nicer than I thought you would be. Oh, that's so, even on the retreat. They're like, oh my God, that's so Erica. I was like, bitch... I you just met you in person right now. You don't know me. <laughs> I guess my question would be then, what do we do? Because if if other people are doing that to us, we're doing that to other people. So how to how do we hold ourselves accountable when we're entering spaces to give folks grace and to allow them to be who they are? Like I, I'm thinking in my head, like how many times have I walked into a space and decided that somebody was something? I think it has a lot to do with how we allow ourselves to show up and how we accept ourselves. I think when you accept yourself as you are, you have, you feel less pressure to project that judgmental energy. Mm. Like even for me, like I am, I have a very <laughs> hyper personality. Like I'm not hyper, but like when I get around people, when I get around a group of people, I do get energized by meeting new people. And it's like a curse and a, and a, and a blessing. Cause I'm like, oh, new people, new friends, you know? And I'm like, sometimes I'm like, bitch, calm the fuck down. And I'm like, I'm excited though. <laughs> you know, like stop, in my head, I'm like, stop talking. I'm like, I can't. <laughs> so Where are you sweet. from? What's your name? What's your sign? Like, <laughs> Stop talking. What's your relationship like with your mom? Like, no. <laughs> What's the shadow work that you did you? last night? No. Are you nervous? That is me. I'm like, every day, I'm like, oh, I just hang out with this. I hang out with these new people, and we just had a deep session. She's like, why do you have this much energy? I'm like, I don't know. She's like, I thought you said you were tired. I was like, I was. And then I met new friends. Um, and it's a part of that has been with me having to accept that that's who the fuck I am. Yeah. I, I, I get energized by meeting new people. I like music. I like to dance and drink. I like to like talk a lot sometimes. And sometimes I'm not, <laughs> sometimes it's not that, but most of the times it is. And if someone is, it doesn't sit right with people and they're like, Oh, that bitch is a lot. It's probably because they're not my people and that's okay. And it's like knowing myself, accepting myself, Accepting even when I get into a crowded room of new people and I'm talking a lot. It's just like, bitch, you, like, don't think about it after it's over. You already talked a lot. Like, well, I think it's also that, like, there's duality. Everyone has duality, right? Like, I feel like for me, I can be that person, too. And then I can be that person. I cannot be that person. And same. And sometimes and I, I don't want to fucking talk. And I think that's confusing for people, though. Because they'll be like, well, didn't we just meet her last week? And she was all over the room talking to everybody. Why is she so quiet now? Is she okay? You know, it's like, well, today I don't feel like it. You know, yeah. and like, and honoring that because mm-hmm. sometimes I don't feel like it, and then I do. I feel obligated because you because you, you met me last week, and, and I was so this friendly. Person. And generally, yeah. I'm that person, but it's just like allowing yourself to flow with the ebbs and flow of exactly how you feel and exactly of how other energies make you feel. Not everyone is gonna fucking push you to be, feel engaged, and that's fine. You know, there's people I can sit in silence, silence with, and that's fine. But I think like we will even on this retreat, we went with like 40 women, 43 women. We have no clue who they were on the for six days on one property one trip and there was a lot of like you know we're we're obviously there to cater to women but i i i there was a lot of that like it's okay to just relax mm-hmm. we could all be here in silence other people could talk amongst themselves mm-hmm. like i don't have to be the hostess with the mostest at all times and it's just allowing like literally the vulnerability of just being i think establishing that as well i was watching a youtube clip of adrian marie brown and she was giving a talk and she was just like just so everybody knows this is around my bedtime I've just taken some black tea so I could be energized for you all. But if my energy is low, just understand. And she just established the expectation. She set the tone for the talk, for the space. And I was like, that is such a powerful tool that we don't utilize enough. Enough, Where we just tell people, this is where I'm at. Mm. 
I'm gonna start doing that. Hey, yeah. yeah. Hey, so what you know, I'm kind Hello, of feeling like I know we're at dinner. We just got here, but um, I'm gonna be kind of quiet. It's today. disrupting the performance. Yeah. yeah. You know, hey, you, you guys have, have had realize... three shots of tequila. I'm a little hyper. <laughs> <laughs> I might ask you exactly. a lot of questions. I might ask you the yeah. same question four times. Forgive me. I'm hyper as fuck. <laughs> That's this is, my, it, this is generally my personality. I might dance with your nigga. It's nothing personal. I just like to dance. <laughs> Wait. <it's> like, <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't agree with your friends dancing with your nigga? No, girl. I mean, <laughs> my imaginary person. We'll see. It depends, <laughs> it depends on how she's dancing with him or whatever. I'll be like, oh, that was cute. <laughs> Talk to you in the back. I saw I saw you guys did the episode recently about like I'm just touching on this briefly because I know it's old now, but like about the woman who said her friend she doesn't trust women to sleep over her friends to sleep over her house. Child. And she acted like she wasn't gonna let me sleep over her house when she I got didn't. I didn't. A did little bit you did. <laughs> no, and I, I was didn't. tight. No, I, I, I it depends. So the question was <laughs> the question was what was the question? The question Ooh. was undetermined. She said that I think it was an undetermined amount of time, right? Like oh. your friends well, down no and out. Move that was it. That's what, that's what you just did. made that up. The, the girl, the girl said no, that her who? friends, when they come in to visit her, can't stay at her house. Did she puts them in a hotel? No, I would never do that. But was, I wasn't pertaining to the fact that because her she lives with her man. Yeah, that yeah. was. And I, don't and agree, I thought I don't that was wild that. as hell. I think that's wild as hell. If I can't if I can't trust her friends, if I can't trust my nigga or my friends in the same house. Her nigga on Snapchat for sure. It's you so are not my nigga. You're not my Snapchat. friend. That's so it. many people have told me that. If I, I don't have Snapchat. Snapchat signal and apparently the calculator app. <laughs> the calculator. Yeah, it's a different calculator. I yeah. have that shit oh. where you can hide your little photos so in there. Oh. Baby. Has, has that? Wow. I'm like, I got my little. Code. Why do you need that? But it, well, for her imaginary, she she's, 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 she's so busy. She's in there texting. I've been doing imaginary. near work, and <laughs> I don't want them on my regular feed. So sometimes you take something, you're like, I need to save this for the archives. But if I ever lost my phone, this is tricky. You're calculating. So then you put it, I, listen, I don't play. So then you put it in this calculator app, and it's amazing. The calculator app actually functions as a calculator. Wait, but okay, then wait, you, wait, push, wait. you push a certain number, and it but goes to your you push a shit? certain number, and then a certain, some of the codes you on the side. You so many it cheaters on the game folder. right now. No, Somebody it's not. You can't. You, go. <laughs> this app, you, the one that I have, you can't interact with other people it's just for photo storage right, right, of, right. and video storage so it's like, like the again. iCloud but no it's just like it's, like it's like the this hidden doesn't, it it's doesn't the hidden album in, yeah. right but she yeah but she oh, okay so the but it's, it's the hidden it's album hidden but in, in disguise of the calculator app Okay, maybe that's where I need to start putting my videos for my for my daughter yeah. not to find because I don't yes. even worry about the hidden album because I have some shit in there. No, Girl, I didn't, no uh, yeah. put it in there. I'll show you. Okay, yeah, can you show me that? that? Literally, my daughter was here earlier when we were recording and she had my phone and like at least seven times I was thinking to myself like, oh my God, did I, I, did know. I put that in there? She doesn't app? even have a lock on her phone. Yes, I do. Oh, you do now? Are you in a relationship? Yeah. She didn't. Uh-huh. Okay, that's, yeah. that's healthy. Yeah. Have you checked his phone for Snapchat? No. <laughs> or the calculator? He don't have Snapchat. How long have you guys been in a relationship? About four years now. Oh, okay. Yeah. He better not have no fucking no. subject. I just couldn't I believe this calculator him. app. This is blowing my fucking mind. Can't wait to share. <sighs> well, so many like that. Well, speaking of, I guess, being a hoe um, and hiding things, um, I would, I, we have a segment on our show called Horries. I don't know if you guys have any <laughs> Horries or hotels you would like to share. Go ahead, girl. Go off. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't honestly, it's dry over here. I told y'all that on the text. I said it's tricky. But I did, I had a lovely, I don't think it's a hoary or a hotel. I had a lovely exchange with someone over the summer. And it was like, it was I met him and and just said to him, I don't want the night to end. And we had a great exchange. It was amazing. I came back to the, she was up and I came back to the hotel, walking in, in the salter and like uh -huh. <laughs> everybody was texting me where I was at. Well, <laughs> I was doing things. So I was high boots. And then I tried to, I learned very quickly why a one night stand is a one night stand. I tried to recreate that. I tried to keep that same energy the <laughs> uh, next time I ran into him. <laughs> <laughs> and... My breasts are large and they're real. So when they're not in a bra, they hang low like the sweetest of chariots. They was swinging. And that man who I had such a great exchange with, it wasn't working. And the moment when I realized that it wasn't going to work was when he took both his hands and he went like that to my nipples. 
I swear to God on my fucking life. Wait. And I looked at him and I was on top of him and I was like, did he just go like that? No. Because your nipples are... And it just was like a reminder of like, wow, you have very low hanging fruit. Maybe, maybe he was just but like being freaky. He could have done like, anything like, else. But he chose... He could have lifted them up. He, he could have squeezed. I, th- I think... I, was I, like, I feel like he okay. hesitated and was like... <laughs> <laughs> and after that I was like okay I've checked out and <laughs> it's now I'm done and I was like I disassociated and said to myself okay I'm good now you have to come and I just did what I knew was gonna make him come and I just rolled over and was like cried yourself to sleep I hate it here oh. I was so upset so maybe it was a love tap maybe, maybe. nope 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 okay. no it was not both it was hands at the same, both time at the same but girl I, if I could do on this mic give me a hand it was like <laughs> Imagine that on your <gasps> nipples. Why would he do Ow! that? And I, and I was like, be nice. I remember saying that, like, be nice. Like, why did, did, you, did, you, did he say anything? No. I think that he knew in he the moment, nervous. like, why did I it do was that? Like a thing. He did, yeah. <laughs> He's just I was like, like, oh, God, breath. It, you know I how, like, something, something will, like, dysfunction, like a robot will, like, malfunction? It was almost like that. Like, yeah. did you skip? Like, did yeah. the CD skip? Yeah, what the fuck happened? Niggas be skipping. But that's just a, for all the, you know, quote unquote hoes with the X out there. I just want y'all to know, don't try to keep, don't try to recreate that energy. Leave it where it is. Honor it. Because it doesn't work. You got to honor that. Yes. I've done, you know what? I've made that mistake trying to recreate a, do a, re, a like a do it with like a, a day part two. two it when never I worked. And it was not, you're like, wait, this doesn't even feel the same. What the fuck? And it ruins the first time. Yeah. It ruins it makes you feel the like, memory. Were you, were you even there the first time? Yeah, I was like, what was the first time? It had been so long since I had sex. I was like, was it even good? I was questioning everything. No, right. sometimes it's just you. Did you even have sex? Sometimes it's just you. <laughs> You're good. I was like, Did I don't know. Do that the first I said, time I don't I even drunk. know. If... He's probably doing that the first time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was doing it. The first time. I was like, you what? Was what? Was the first what? Time. It was like a pat. <laughs> like, yeah, like, what are doggy paddling? Like, what are you doing? You was just drunk last time. He's like, I was doing it the whole uh, time. Before. It was very tricky. About? I should have known though because he didn't take his do rag off. Oh, I love bitch, it. not the do rag. He didn't take his do rag off. In the early but I let him live. I, I let him live. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, you're in a relationship. Do that shit to him. Look up and be like, <laughs> and just see what he does yeah. to him. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> you might like it. He might, he and then you got to repeat it. it. Imagine. I you might fuck around and do that. You might, you might fuck around <laughs> and do that. And he'll be like, where you, you at? It was hard, though. You're not doing enough of the down. That would make me so upset. Uh, I'm sorry, Internet. That is a horror story. That is a horrible that is horror a, story. That's a whore with an H. It, it, it's, sorry. it's a lesson. That's an it's H-O-R, a lesson. Or, or, or story. I'm doing the best I can, guys. I shout out you, to you, you know who you are. Yeah, shout out to you, you know who you are, King. Don't ever fucking do that shit again. Don't ever disrespect her nipples like that again. What's wrong with you? I just told Orlando, can you please stop calling me queen? I'm like, I know you mean well. I'm like, but it's true. Nobody want to hear that I'm shit. Like, I'm like, you sound like a hotep. Stop. He's like, the hotep shit I'm don't like, slap. It doesn't. Even the genuine ones, I can't take. Just, oh, those are the worst. I love the, the, <laughs> the you know. The smart ass yeah, ones are what's great. What's up, queen? <laughs> yeah. yeah. But not like, like, what's up, queen? Are we, are we, are are we do? toxic? Because we don't want to have it's, a nigga call. No. Is that a toxic trait? Yeah. Toxic? Don't, don't, treat, praise don't, don't praise me. Don't praise me. Stop No, you can praise me. Just don't be corny while you do it. You only have specific words to praise me you can't use that one shorty oh god shorty. we're so we're such complicated beings. <laughs> right right, women, right. be toxic we? don't be toxic <laughs> A little bit. Well, anyway, ladies, thank you guys so much for coming thank on the you. show. Thank you. Thank having you for having us. This was lovely. lovely. Can you let our listeners know where they can find y'all? Sure. You can find us on Instagram at Around the Way Curls. We release every Thursday. Um, and yeah, we're on all streaming platforms. We have a Patreon. And yeah, if you want more of Love and Light and Money and Dicks, because duality is a thing, hey. feel free to join us there. Love, yes, light, duality. money, and dicks. Yes. I love that. That's, that love sounds that. right about us. That's a mantra. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, y'all know where to find us good moms underscore bad choices on instagram make sure you join our patreon that's patreon.com backslash good moms bad choices also please please follow our retreat page we have a retreat coming up we would love to see you there that's at the good vibe retreat we're going back to costa rica we're leaving july 31st get your coins together we're having two again we're running it back and you should be here if you need more trust in women if you need more places to be vulnerable and find new friends from all over this is the place to be yeah we'll see you guys next week bye bye